We're here today to um, uh, have the first uh, hands-on preview version of Might and Magic Hero 7 here in Paris in this beautiful location. We inherited the, the Might and Magic brand from 3DO in 2003. Our first games, the first Ubisoft games, Heroes 5 and Dark Messiah were released in 2005-2006. Uh, since then, we have um, uh, kept the hero spirit alive with our Hero 6 and now Hero 7. Uh, we also released uh, an HD version of Hero 3 to pay homage to the, uh, or the what is still considered today as being the benchmark for the, the Hero series as a whole. Uh, we also uh, introduced new titles to the Might Magic brand, uh, Clash of Heroes, uh, on multiple platforms, and then the free-to-play games, uh, Heroes Online, and the card game Duel of Champions. Uh, we still want to do some more Might Magic uh, titles in the future, so part of my job as the creative director of the brand is to uh, promote internally the brand and uh, ask Ubisoft Studios if they're interested in a new title. So there's nothing official, nothing is signed yet for the future, but we uh, every year we uh, propose uh, new games. Uh, uh, the last uh, one that was green-lighted uh, was Might Magic 10, uh, so an homage again to the, uh, the, the RPG series that started the Might and Magic brand. But we hope that in the future there will be uh, Might Magic games on mobile, Might Magic uh, RPGs, but maybe more ambitious or more modern than uh, Might Magic 10. So that's my day-to-day -day job to make sure that uh, Might and Magic is important at Ubisoft, is still alive, and that uh, we go uh, a little bit beyond Heroes, and not reduce Might and Magic as a whole to just the Hero series, even though today we still consider it to be the flagship of the Might and Magic universe. And uh, now as we are having the 20th birthday of the, of the series and uh, the seven. Uh, Hero 7 and uh, the HD version of the game. Uh, how did you, how was the, from your point of view, how did you succeed with the HD? The H HD. Okay. Uh, Hero uh, 3 HD version uh, was basically our gift to the fans for the anniversary. Uh, we really uh, answered a uh, request that often were, uh, was uh, communicated to us in the forums or in the community websites or when we were meeting with the fans uh, during events, like the fan day that will happen in two days from now. Uh, and uh, we really said, now is the time to do it. It's the 10th anniversary if we want to do a, a new version of Hero 3 or at least a revamped, graphically revamped version of it. Now is the time. So last year we validated that, uh, but the idea was really to take the source code we had, and at that time it was uh, only the original version of Hero 3 without uh, the add-ons or extensions. Um, I've, I've read a lot of times that people were surprised that we don't have really the master source of all the 3DO games. But um, people not working in the industry don't realize sometimes that if we have a master disk, it means we cannot duplicate the same game. What we need is the source code so we can tweak it and adapt it to different platforms and format. And uh, it's harder to get and we don't always have it. So for Euro 3 we, we looked for the source code of the extensions. Now we finally uh, were able to find uh, some, some part of it. Uh, but still, the, the HD version, uh, because we took uh, us about a year to do it, was mostly based on the original game. Uh, and uh, the idea was to make it uh, nicer for uh, today's uh, screens, and uh, especially for the tablet. Uh, also to add some multiplayer features that were absent from the original game, because at that time it was not convenient or not, not very easy to do. Now it's, it's like this, with, uh, especially with the support of Steam, that's very easy for us to do it. And uh, to allow the players, uh, like myself, who have a lot of time uh, spent in transportation or uh, while doing something else uh, in home because we have a family to take care of, uh, so we play less and less on PC and console and more and more on smartphones or tablets. So having the possibility to play Hero 3 on a, on a mobile platform like the tablet was for us very important. 
And uh, I don't know about the community as a whole, but the, the feedback is very positive. I know the sales are good too. And uh, I know internally at Ubisoft that people who are fans of Might Magic and especially of Heroes, and there are a lot of people in Ubisoft, not all of them working on Might Magic, but a lot of people we know uh, who were really excited about Hero 3 HD and uh, have played it for hours already. And uh, so I've shared their love <laughs> for the game once more, just being able to play it on tablet. The game is set, uh, it's a bit funny because um, Hero 6 uh, tells the story of uh, the Griffin family when they are just dukes of the Empire and the ruling dynasty is the Falcon Line. So that's uh, uh, an important time uh, in the history of the Empire, but the Falcons are ruling. In Heroes 5, uh, which happens 400 years after Hero 6, uh, the Falcon Line is dead, extinct, no more and it's the Griffin dynasty on the throne. So they are the, the empires, uh, they are the emperors and empress of the, the, the Holy Empire. Uh, Hero 7 is exactly in the middle. It's when the dynasty changes. So we're telling with Hero 7 the tale of how the Griffins are becoming the new dynasty sitting on the throne, uh, how the Falcons are slain to the last one and uh, never to, be, to rule on, on the, the empire again, etc. So our main character, Ivan, you've seen him in the trailer on uh, most of the cover art we've been doing on the game, uh, is the Duke of the Griffin. He's a very good general. Uh, there's a civil war in the Empire because the Falcon line is gone, uh, that the Empress has been murdered by demons, all the children as well, so there's no one legitimate to take the throne. So there are various people who claim they could be because they're cousin or somehow related to the throne that they could be the next Emperor, but no real uh, air that is obvious and supported by everyone, all the dukes, the clergy, etc. So it's a time of civil war. Ivan is a very good general and he's an honorable man and he's supported by various people within the empire, but he's not ambitions, uh, ambitious and he's, he doesn't see himself as a ruler or a future emperor. Uh, so people who want him on the throne, because they would rather have this guy than other ones, uh, will come to him, create a council, so there will be people from various factions, uh, not just people from the Holy Empire, but the neighbors as well. So wizards from the Academy faction, uh, even the necromancers from Necropolis, uh, the elves, because they are the neighbors of the Empire from the Silver Forest, etc. So a lot of people coming to see Ivan and say, uh, you should be the next emperor. Uh, you're really the best candidate. And uh, to, to motivate you, we will tell you stories of our people. Uh, that will uh, tell you of heroes of the past who had to make important decisions and take power even though they were maybe reluctant and it was for the greater good. And we will also tell you stories of people who abused power. So you understand that if you don't become the emperor, someone else will and it will be bad for the empire. So that's the context of the campaign of the story of Hero 7. Meaning you play all the factions, but each faction is a tale of the past that's supposed to give a new light to Ivan's present and help him forge the future, uh, him becoming the emperor, uh, the first Griffin em emperor. And uh, you can play them in any order. The only thing we recommend to players who may be new to heroes or who want to start slowly the game and not, not, not to in two maps that are maybe a little bit too complex or difficult to understand, is to start with the Haven faction, the Knights of the Holy Empire. Because this campaign is tailored to teach you step by step how to play the game. It's not really a tutorial, you don't have to do it, but it's the, let's say, the, the, the easiest campaign in terms of uh, what shall I do, how, uh, what are the necessary steps to be a good hero player.